Welcome to Soda Geeks. I'm Devin. I'm Connor. Now, this uh, episode we've got here, Double Cola. <laughs> you know, this looks familiar to me, but I can't tell if I've ever had it, so... Um, but I was down at uh, Cordy Brothers, which is the little Italian grocery store where I normally get all our little sodas, and they had a whole bunch of new ones, so we've got some cool ones to try over the next little while. That double cola sounds good. Yes, of the group of them I bought, Connor picked out col double cola to try here. So this is since 1933. It's it's interesting to me that a lot of these little sodas always seem to be like Old. yeah yeah like they've been around for a long time. How I've never heard of them. How they how do they manage to hang on when they you know it's like since 1917. But I've never heard of you. How is that possible? <laughs> You know, they they sold to their town for decades or something. I don't know. Um, I'm noticing in the ingredients it says carbonated water and then invert sugar. And then caramel color and the normal stuff, caffeine and natural. I don't know what invert sugar means. Sugar upside down, inverted? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe there's a different kind of sugar? Maybe. I know there's different colors of sugar. I know, you know, one Google uh, trip could probably take care of this, but I'm not sitting no. in front of the computer that I want to get on it and t check it out now anyway. Besides, guessing is so much more fun. Yes. All right. Well, let's pop it. I like the top. It just says... Double cola. It just says double cola. It is a twist top. I had... Okay. I couldn't tell, so I had my little pop opener uh, just in case. I'm a little stuffy, so I can't quite smell anything I anyway, so let me, let me get a drink. That's pretty good. It's just a good soda. It's not like, it's not standing out to me as something spectacular, but it's, uh, it's good. Mm -hmm. To me, it just tastes like regular Coke, though. Well. I guess, <clears throat> I guess I could see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. It's certainly not double regular Coca Cola, but you know, it's it's yeah. If they wanted to make Coke they put if they wanted to make double they'd put Coca Cola and like Coke Zero or something. Put those two in there. You know, they had something like that. It was called C two. C two. It was half diet coke, half coke. It was half the calories, half the sugar. And it was called C2. I actually quite liked it, and they discontinued it quickly. Why? Didn't sell. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've got one of the bottles, actually, or one of the cans still. <laughs> I kept the can because I thought, this ain't going to be around long. This is cool. I'll keep this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, though. That'll put some pep in your morning there. That is a good one, though. So, yeah. I would rate that, uh, I guess, a, a 3.5 out of 5. Mm. It's light. I, I like that a good amount, but... I'll put a 3. 3? Okay. All right, well, double cola. You get a passing score from us, but uh, nothing particularly special, I guess. Um, it was a decent one, but... Yeah. I That's guess I got nothing else it. to say. It's funny. It's it's oh, it's and uh our not it was like Gmail or something. Email is uh yes. soda geeks at gmail dot com. You're absolutely right. I was just thinking of final thoughts on this. I don't know, it's funny, it's it's like good, but it's not standing out. So it's just <laughs> like Man, it's okay. Hey. You love Coca Cola, so I do, I do. I and uh, the best treat is the, uh, in particular right now, my favorite is vanilla Coke Zero. Ah. See, vanilla Coke is a little too, too strong. strong. Yeah. yeah. So I found vanilla Coke Zero is like perfect. It still gives that vanilla tang without being overpoweringly sweet. Um, so I don't know if you've had a vanilla Coke Zero. I have. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, that's like my favorite right oh, now. I've had Coke Zero and the vanilla Coke. I I kind of like the vanilla Coke better. 
It wasn't too strong for me. I thought it was good. You're a kid, so your palate is very sweet. <laughs> you like everything sweet. Except for a lot of chocolate. You you know. Me in particular, I'm not a big chocolate fan. Well, so, <clears throat> quick story for no reason whatsoever. Last year, I load up his stocking, or rather, I saw Santa load up his stocking for any kids still listening to this that believe. <laughs> no. So I load up his stocking full of chocolate because I'm like, you know what? If I wanted, if I wanted some, I would want to get the good stuff. I'd want to get the good stuff. So I load them up with like, you know, a Reese's peanut butter cups and the mini candy bars and all kinds of good chocolate stuff. And he starts eating and in no time he's sick. He's sick as a dog from all the chocolate. <laughs> and uh, so now he has like an aversion to chocolate. I've like ruined the chocolate for him forever. Next morning, uh, it wasn't too good. Yeah. So this year, beef jerky and astronaut ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and only, only a little bit of chocolate stuff. All right. Uh, so anyway, we'll... Tune in next time, and in the meantime, enjoy a good cola this week. I'm Devin. I'm Connor. See you next time. Bye.